Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to some small land. Um, I have done a little bit of work since our last episode, um, and I will show you shortly here as we wait for our little tree lift here. Uh, I'll get our tree butler to send us up. And, uh, basically, it's been nothing crazy. Uh, there is a very small, simple build awaiting us here at the top of our great tree that we selected last time. Um, but essentially, I wanted to start gathering some materials for us so that, uh, as we want to start building, uh, we have, uh, uh, basically a space to do so, um, and some materials to do so. Uh, so I've got a few, um, of the fancier chests. Uh, they just have a little bit better storage space, um, than the other size chests. Um, I don't actually remember the size of the other chests, uh... But these have a little bit more. Um, that's all that I know. Uh, so we've got a few of these. Um, and I've been trying to gather a few more resources. So you can kind of see, just as I scroll through those a little bit, um, everything that I have gathered. Um, and uh, I at least have a, uh, a stone cutter, a workbench, a cauldron, and a campfire here. And as I was placing the cauldron... Um, I also realized why I had so much trouble placing it. There's a campfire that comes with the cauldron. It's not like the Valheim cauldron, for example, where you have to place it over an existing campfire. It actually comes with its own campfire. But we're going to ignore that and keep it placed on our own campfire for now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Um, so yeah. Uh, so basically, from what I can tell, we're kind of limited at the moment by flint. Is my my best um, my best understanding? So like, if we go to our our stone cutter, like everything here requires flint. Um, I also, like, really want to discover, um, I really want to discover, like, some more building materials, so, like, pulling out our, oh, I already had it out, pulling out our hammer, like, we still only have leaf, um, building structures, uh, nothing more than that, and so I'm hoping that we can do something other than just leaf sometime soon. Uh, so today, I think um, we could definitely uh, try to actually get some some more structure up here in our great tree. Um, like, I actually don't have a bed up here, for example. Uh, I've still just been using the bed at the base of the tree. Um, but the other thing is... Uh, I think we really need to find flint, and since it seems like it might be an important resource, we may already need to move our tree. Um, and uh, with that, um, uh, another argument for that is as I was coming back and forth to this tree, it's actually kind of inconvenient uh, to get to the tree lift on this tree, and I will show you why here in a moment. However, we need... Uh, we need some arrows, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of these materials and run to our workbench real quick, because uh, I'm not exactly running low. We've got 46, um, but I've been getting a little bit better on combat as we've, uh, or as I was running around uh, between episodes here, and... Um, Using arrows to kind of open some fights has been a big part of doing a bit better. Ooh, and I might grab a little bit more food. Sorry, I keep just starting to leave and then not actually leaving. Um, I think all my food is in here. Uh, what does it take to cook up ant heads? Literally just ant heads. Well, we're going to make a bunch of ant skewers then. Because I 
don't have mushrooms at the moment. All right, uh, so we've got a bunch of those cooked up and I think we'll just keep the 10 on us and I'll eat those and we'll put those on our hot bar too. Cool. All right, let's head on out and we're gonna do a bit of exploring. Um, and we'll head on down to root level. So the, the really nice thing about this particular tree is that there are like tons of strawberries in particular nearby. Um, although they can be a little bit risky to collect um, because all of the bees are right there. And I have had the bees chase me. I've not actually fought the bees but the bees have pursued me just a little bit. But right up here, there's all of the strawberries. Um, and then we can also kind of get the, uh, is it the honey, uh, the honey crumbles as well, um, I would imagine, thanks to all of the bees. Uh, but I'm going to also run away before the bees come get me. But the problem is I'm kind of going this way intentionally. We have to kind of go this far route. Like if I'm going back to our original home, uh, we have to go this far around and battle like that bull ant usually. And once we make it. Well, and I, I'm able to drop down here this time because we're coming down, but I usually have to basically come up around there, which forces us to battle the bull ant. Um, I usually then have to engage this bull ant and that Sawyer beetle, which, again, it's not a big deal, but it just kind of slows any uh, journey down a bit. Uh, and yeah, and there's actually two Sawyer beetles here. And we're just going to go ahead and get this battle started. Ooh, I missed that second shot. Shoot, is that ant coming after me? Oh, how did that miss? Oh, I didn't get my roll in. Okay, well, that was not my best example of a good fight there, but basically trying to throw in some rolls and everything in addition to fighting usually has been helping me out quite a bit, as well as opening with a few arrows before the bugs get here. Oh, almost got me down. There we go. All right. So there we go. We're at least able to get by. I don't have to deal with the bull ants. So all of this is just to make it back over to near where our first home was. Now, I don't want to go... Oh, have that. Another bull ant right up here. Aha! There we go. Alright, I am going to chop some more mushrooms because I am actually out of edible mushrooms at the moment. Although the, uh, the ant heads, I think, are going to maybe be our new food source for a little while. We do have many, many of those, and it seems that they are just as good as mushroom steaks. Um, but I think if we hop right up here, if we're able to, I actually haven't gone exactly this way before. Uh, yeah, our house is like right here. So like, it takes a while just to get all the way over to here. 
And then all of the other area we were exploring um, by... Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, that owl stump. Um, and that's where we were finding, like, the garlic plants. Um, it just takes a long time to get over there. And so I'm kind of thinking that maybe our tree isn't the most convenient. And I hadn't found garlic plants elsewhere yet. Um, and those are necessary for some both, like, cooking recipes and a few other uh, crafting uh, a few other crafting recipes, so, um, we may, we may need that. And I did actually have my eyes on a possible tree over here. So, we're just gonna kind of take a look. There's also, this is also where we have to find, wait, why am I getting battle music? Oh, there was an ant following me. Uh, this is also where we can get some, uh, stone. So if we're gonna need a lot of stone at any point, like, this is how far we have to come for stone. Um. So, again, I wish this tree were what a great tree. That one is still an option, uh, but I don't know yet where its, um, landing is. But that's not the one I had in mind. Oh, swerve. Okay. But yeah, right at the base of this tree, we had explored before, and, I mean, there are a lot of bugs, but there's also a lot of different resources. Oh, he got me through the roll! That's no fair. Okay. But that tree right there, I think, could be really cool. Um, because... Oh, got our Sawyer Beetle. Um, because I have heard that maybe the south part of the map... And I know I haven't kind of shown... Oof. Need to let us heal for a second. There we go. Um, let's get a bandage on. Um, so whenever I had first joined the Discord for the game the other day, I think I had mentioned that a couple episodes back, um, I was trying to avoid as many spoilers as possible, but one thing I did end up seeing, and I think I'm glad that I did see, because um, we have explored a decent amount of this, so there's that log that we crossed a little while back as well. Um, We've explored a decent amount of the map, because, like, we're all the way over here. We had crossed that log the other day, and we actually made it almost all the way over to, um, Kalev. Um, and, uh, we had also explored most of the way down here the other day. And our trees up here, we've explored up into this area, and we have found no, uh, none of the flint. And so, if we can find, um, if we can get a hint to find some, I think that's going to be a good thing. Um, but basically, I had heard that maybe toward the south of the map is where we might need to look. Uh, this tree may end up being good for that. Now, it's looking, oh, hello. Oh, we're out of stamina. Okay. Um, so we all are also getting toward nighttime here. We might be able to... Oh man, there's another Sawyer Beetle here. Um... Oh no, we've also got a bull ant. I just don't want to get swarmed by like ghost ants too.
There we go. Okay. Did I get the Sawyer Beetles stuff? No. Okay, there we go. Um, we might need to make ourselves a little hut or something real quick if we have the supplies and make a bed. Um, ooh, but even here's another bunch of stones. That's good. Ooh, but I hear ants. That's not great. Uh, do we have a torch on us? I don't think we do right now, and I don't know why. Um, okay, do we have any resin nearby? Uh, why can't I turn on my... My... Sense. My gather sense. Uh, this was happening to me the other day, too. Okay, maybe I have to be, like, well-fed or something. For my... Super Sense to turn on. Here we go. Resin. Oh, it's a dawn ant, not a ghost ant. Ugh! All right, bandage. I'm hitting all the wrong keys here. Oh no, and now it's raining. All right, all right, all right. Here's what is gonna happen. I'm probably standing like right on their home. Uh, we need to craft a torch. Why don't we, oh, we don't have enough resin yet. Resin. We'll just get a bunch extra. Okay. Now, craft a torch, please. And equip it. Oh, that's better. Much, much better. Okay, I want to get up onto this tree if I can. And I want to see if we can build on it just a bit. And then we will make ourselves a little bed. Ooh, actually right here would be good. And there is our platform. Um, let's see, so we need that. Let's build a foundation. Oh, we don't have any fiber. Um... Ooh, I don't know that the garlic gives us fiber. But, there's one way to find out. Nope, just garlic leaf. Okay. Well, we'll still take it. Should have probably just brought a stack of my, uh, of both wood and fiber with me. Just for kind of emergency, I need to build stuff real quick purposes. Oh, here's some fiber. There we go. Just a little, little sprout to save the day. Um, alright, we can get some wood out of the mauve plants. Now, if there was some rye right here, that would be real helpful. Um, any more sprouts or anything? Head down this way. There's some sprout. Ooh, we've got like some mods or something. Hello, Sawyer Beetle. Uh, 
Yes. Okay. And let's get our torch back out. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Um, Alright, let's see how much we can build with this. Wait, did I see another sprout? I did. Perfect. Okay. Um, grab our hammer and... Throw that... There. And let's see, let's see. We need a wall. And honestly, we can do windowed walls because they're more fun. And for a roof... We're gonna eventually make this bigger, or I think we're just gonna do standard corners on this one. We'll do that, and okay, it doesn't actually look like it's gonna rain. Are we, where do I see what time of day it is? I know I had a view of that earlier. Ah, here it is, it's almost day. I think we're gonna be all right. Uh, let's just eat some ant heads. Everyone's favorite. And we'll heal up a bit. And let's see, let's see. Can I build... A bed. Nope, we're one fiber short. Let's put our porch away now. Now that we can see things, because the sun is here. Um, let's see. I do maybe want to put a marker here. Add a remove marker. This will be shelter. And if I pull that back up, good. All right, so got another Sawyer beetle down there. Ooh, is that where we get maybe the webbing? Now, that probably means there's going to be a spider down here. I would imagine. Yep, I see one. Okay, so that's not exactly the webbing that we need. Oh, there's a big spider and there's little spiders. Oh, I bet that's the webbing on the left. All right, well, we're not going to mess with the spiders. They can live in peace. Um, good morning, butterflies. Um, all right, well, the Sawyer Beater wants to have a go of it. Oh, I don't think that's a hit. All right, but let's head down here. Oh, hello. We're just going to get all of the little beetle parts and lots of extra chitin. 
And I am okay with that. Oh, it's okay. So we got some new bees down here. But maybe down at the beach we can find our flint. Um, and I'll chop these rye plants here just to make sure that we have a little bit of, um, a little bit extra fiber. Because that's a good quick way to get some. Boy, that's a lizard. Hello. Um. All right, so it's vulnerable to swords. I don't think I want to fight a lizard, though. This is cool down here. Oh, no. Set a respawn point. This would be really bad. No. That's a bummer. We almost had him, too. Ah, uh, well, I'll go get us back over there, because this is going to be quite the trek. Okay. Well, I at least made it to our little half shelter. I'm hoping that this is enough where... Um, ooh, I don't have a hammer now, do I? Hmm. Well, I'm going to try to risk it and get my stuff. I don't think it should be too far away. I was gathering some things along the way, and I should hopefully have enough to now build a bed. Um, the trick is going to be locating my, uh, my little tiny tombstone. And the problem is I also don't really have the right materials to fight a Sawyer Beetle. So I've only got my sword. Is that it right there? Hello, Grasshopper. Is that like a castle up there? Um, so you probably also saw in that quick little glance. Whoops. Uh, I did also... Um, I gathered some blackberries on my way over. I found a couple just laying on the ground, which will be nice. Um, but let's run up. Let's build a bed closer here. Uh, that way if I meet my end again... It won't be quite as painful to uh, continue our little adventure down south here. But we will stay away from the spooky spider den.
Luckily, I think running up these roots is taking us right where we need to go. Pull out the hammer, and let's see if I can just throw the bed down. Activate spawn point. Cool. Well, it's not exactly a whole shelter. Um, ooh, can I actually build... Yeah, if we can throw a workstation in here, too, then we can repair stuff. I was able to repair some of our things. Ooh, I can't repair the spear. That's the only bummer. Um, I was able to repair some of the gear um, whenever I would, did respawn, but not quite everything. Alright, let's see. I think we came from this route, and let's try to make our way back down there. We found our stone at the beach, so maybe our flint will be at the beach as well. That's basically my thinking here. Plus, it's further south, and again, that's the... The advice I had seen from other people who were asking about Flint. Oh, just short. I would love to get a more powerful bow sometime soon. Ah! Not that this one is bad, but it's just... It's not great. Oh. Well, I hate wasting an arrow like that, but I don't know how to change off of the bow once I've started drawing. Um, alright, well, where did our lizard go? We did almost take it out. So the reason I did try to go around it, uh, that is another thing I've seen. I know that you can actually use these as mounts. So I was hoping that it would just be passive. So far, the other mount options have been. I'm just gonna try to tank this. Oh, I'm out of bandages. That's less than I feel. There we go. Um, alright. We really need bandages, though. We did unlock some broth, a blowgun. Interesting. Alright, we'll make it down there eventually, I promise. But we can't do that with no health. Alright, bandage is on. We are healing up. Um, we're kind of out of fiber again, but that is all right. Health is in a much better state, and we do have a few more spare bandages, so I might also top off our hunger meter just so that also keeps passively helping our last bit of health there, but at least with over 50%, I feel much better about pressing forward. <sighs> Okay, well, the lizard is out of the way. So let's see what else is going on. But yeah, that, that is like a full-blown castle up there. So it's going to be very interesting to see what else we can find. Hopefully we can do a bit more here before it hits darkness.
So at least stone. Ooh, is this? Oh my! All right, we're not going in there. Um, let's grab some stone while we're here, though. That way, I'll be able to repair our spear. Um, is this a terrible idea? Let's find out. after me now. Wait, can I not pick that up? Insecting, I want it. A poisoned mace? That sounds awesome. Uh, ooh, I see some flint-looking things, maybe. No, that's not flint. Never mind. What are you? Bark. But you need a flint pickaxe. And we have another gecko. Wait, that might be flint. That's a little high. check this thing out. I'm a little concerned that we have a long way to go in the dark here, but... Oh, Flint! Thank goodness. Alright. Hopefully we get a bit out of this, because we need Flint for so many things. And we get two pieces. Okay. Um, oh, bye! What are you? Uh, blunt damage. I don't have a way to bluntly damage you. I'm also not feeling well! saw that one coming. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna sleep. Yeah, we were, we were just straight up out too late at night there. No question about that. Ooh, I think I see more flint down there. Um, I've just got a, I've got a Sawyer beetle on my tail, and it's not wanting to leave me alone. Okay. Alright, bud. Alright, bud. I get it. You're big and tough. Go away now. Oh, there was more right here, too. Alright, yeah. You go home.
Excellent. Perfect. All right, we can get our stuff and harvest more. Everything will be fine. So I will take that. And we'll go harvest some stuff. That it does not look like a Sawyer beetle. What are you? Can't quite. I can't quite tell. He's too far away. Oh, hello, dragonfly. Well, good. This will hopefully help us get the tools that we need. Um, are you going to be mad if I come over here? Uh, I'm going to go with a yes. you go. I'm not done with you yet. Wait, where'd you go again? Yeah. Alright. Dragonfly down. Oh, that looked like another like wing or something at first. Get some stone for good measure, you know. Um, and was there even anything that he was guarding that was worthwhile over here? Our bow is in really rough shape right now. Uh, no, there really wasn't any any need to take on the dragonfly. Oh, well. Um, so, okay, so this stuff we needed a flint pick. Is this anything? Ooh, sorrel. Okay, so we'll need a flint hatchet for that. Oh, no, it's another water bug. Roach meat. We can make some red jerky. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm just going to kind of keep harvesting some stuff, and then we'll make our way. Oh, wait. Foxtail. This is new. Anything fun? Vibrant seeds. Okay. Well, nothing new. It's kind of the same as getting uh, rye, I guess, but it's down here at the water. Um, but yeah, I will just keep harvesting some stuff, and then we'll make our way back up to our makeshift amp, and then I think that we will indeed move our tree down here, because I think that there's just a lot more, like, progressive stuff down here, um, to just keep our tech tree moving. Um... So I, I like the tree that our our very, very primitive half shelter is now based around. So I think that I, uh, I'll keep gathering stuff here, and then I will meet back up with you guys at the base of that tree, and we will climb up it and see about moving our base. Oh boy, but we might have to fight first. A green beetle with blunt damage. We aren't ready for that. So let's just head on up now, I think. Alright, well we've had a few insect encounters. Uh, it got a little it got a little rough there for a second, but 
I think everything is all right now. Um, oh, and our inventory is full. Uh, sometimes I can still sort some of this stuff out because we did perish and the auto sort uh, doesn't always happen, but I think in this case, I'm not immediately seeing anything that can be combined. Uh, so I think we're okay. Let's try to repair all of our stuff though. Much, much better. And uh, we'll talk to this guy real quick. I don't think. Uh, let's see, I wanna claim this tree. Wait. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't even have to climb the tree. Okay, well, that's no fun. Uh, we're gonna climb the tree first. Anyway, I feel like that should be a requirement. I feel like you should have to claim the tree from the top. That's very interesting. I don't think that you should be able to skip climbing a tree just by claiming it. So we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do that extra step and climb this tree ourselves. Plus we get some nice views. Yeah, look at that tower. There's like a whole, like, castle church looking thing. It's crazy. Oh no, well, we're dead. That's awkward. We need a dandelion, dang it. Plus the jumping in this game is just so floaty. stuff. I think our stuff is even further down than this. Unless it's from where we jumped. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting. We'll figure it out. But again, I feel like this is why you have to earn your tree. It's not like it's a super hard puzzle. You just have to pay attention and not make silly mistakes like I just did. But why, if you're playing yourself, you probably shouldn't do it this way. There we go. Almost there, I think. Huh. 
Come on, grab the ledge. Yeah, there we go. See, now I feel more accomplished. I want to call the hot air lift. And there we go. Look, our little storage place is already here. That's, that's cool. I like that feature. That is very fun. So, I, I am going to be very curious, and I might, like, start up another world to test this, because I don't really want to do this on the main world and then be sad. Uh, I want to test some things on what exactly the bounds are for what can be moved and what cannot on these great trees. Because, like, you know, it looks like, okay, this might be kind of, like, roughly a perfect circle-ish area right around here uh, as its border that it would consider something that could be moved, you know? And so, if, um, if I built, you know, maybe a couple stories up and then it extended out past that border... Would it get cut off? If I tried to build something out here, like, am I allowed to build something out here? If I built a foundation right here, yeah. If I built right here, would that move? Um, that's the kind of stuff that I also want to know. Um, because, like, it would be... Like, it could be really cool. Like, right here, we've got an amazing view of that crazy-looking cathedral. And it could be really fun to build, like, a little... A little, you know... A little platform, like, build a little house... Up here. Where you can look out and see it. But is that something that's going to move whenever we would move trees? And if so, do all these trees have the exact same shape up top? Or would that possibly just be floating in the next tree? Um... That's, uh... Yeah, it would be... It, that's some stuff that I want to experiment with. So maybe that's something that I'll do... Um, I'll start up a new world. Um, and uh, I could even kind of play with some of the custom settings that I think that they've added. And uh, we could um, make a quick little video on just playing with moving some great tree stuff around. And seeing what happens because um, that would be very good information to know before we go crazy with base building in one of these um, but anyway we have a little bit of crafting to do before we call it a day so what do we need for this okay that's where we need the silk thread um, all right so poison mace we still need more poison glands and insect stings that's a shame, because that is pretty cool. Um, ooh, a healing patch. So health, 3 per second for 20 seconds. Versus a bandage which is three per second for... Okay, so a, a healing patch lasts longer. And it's just using the honey crumbles instead of more fiber.
Okay. Um, all right, we're gonna want refined wood, and I already have some made. Um, ooh, and we're gonna need to put some things away. Let's basically put the food items away. Um, because I think that's gonna be what we need the least here. Uh, honestly, that should probably be good. I'll grab that. And here, maybe we... Do the sting, those wings. Put the mushrooms away. Let's see how far that gets us. Okay, so if we make a bunch of seed oil... And, okay, so that gets us up to 20 refined wood. What are we missing? I need more resin. Oh man, some of these tools need a lot of flint. Interesting, okay. So, the flint pickaxe is honestly probably what we need first, and we can't quite make it. The flint sword will definitely be helpful. So that does 16 to 22 damage. And 20 stamina usage, whereas this one does 8 to 11 so it's twice as strong, same stamina. And then the flint spear is also 16 to 22. So it's not as big of an upgrade because we already have a stone spear, that makes sense. Um, so we could make the flint hatchet. And the only thing that we've seen, I think, so far for the flint hatchet, I think, was the sorrel. Whereas the flint pick got us the bark. And we saw something that needs the bark. I guess the blowgun needs bark. Hmm... Oh, and then here's our stone hammer for blunt damage. Oh, that was something we could have made already. Uh, well, let's make a stone hammer, because we've now found the, our insects that need blunt damage. This one's gonna be tough, because it does take a lot of, uh, stamina to use. And then, oops, I didn't even need to click that. Our flint shears. We cut spider cocoons open. Okay, so that's gonna be intimidating. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um... And then, do we just go for the flint hatchet for now, and then I'll keep harvesting up flint. And then we'll go for the pickaxe next time. I think, 
Maybe that's what we do. Let me grab out more resin. Because I think that we need a flint tool to end this off. And there we have it. Let's take a look. Um, except we, sh we should really throw a bed in here somewhere. Uh, seven. Da, 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 da. Building. Have we unlocked any other interactive things? Uh, we do have a tannery. Somewhere to refine hides and sturdy materials for advanced crafting. And an apothecary table. Okay. So yeah, we still haven't unlocked any new building things. I'm really curious when that's going to happen, because I really want that. Um, okay. Well, we can build this, and... We're just going to throw it down right here, and we will worry about building the... Uh, proper place next time but we will we'll take our snooze and uh we'll deal with reorganizing this place next time but now that it is a rather beautiful sunrise we can uh let's let's head on up to our our little overlook that that was was nice i think that was like is that this branch Uh, no, that looks that looks sketchy to, to climb past. It must have been here. Or not. No, 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 it was over here. And then we'll we'll pose with our, our hatchet to finish things off. Oh gosh, we really are starving though, aren't we? Well we'll we'll chow down on some ant heads real quick. That will help things out. Alright, well. That should just about do it for today. Um, definitely some very good progress made. I'm glad that we did finally figure out where we can get some flint. And it looks like uh, down below here. I'm imagining that's going to respawn pretty quickly. Just like our uh, stone and everything else. Um, and uh, the... Um, yeah, there we go. Looking nice and impressive. Um, yeah, so that should give us a nice readily available source of flint. We've got lots of stone here. Um, pretty good sources of all of the various plants that we've been chopping down. But look at that shiny flint axe. I am excited to use that here pretty soon. Um, very nice. So yeah, I do think... Um, I'll try to keep gathering some flint in the meantime, so hopefully uh, next episode we can uh, jumpstart things with um, crafting uh, some more flint tools. Um, and um, I might uh, just kind of keep gathering some more resources in general. Um, and then I'm really hoping that we can unlock some more building materials soon, because uh, I'm the, the reason I'm not really building much more and I'm, I'm cramming our little storage building up here with so much stuff uh, is that I, I don't want to build too much without having um, uh, more materials to build with just because building with only kind of the, the grass and leaves is just not all that exciting and I know that this this game has interesting building materials so uh, we'll get to it eventually um, We've just got to figure out how. And um, and again, for the most part, I am trying to avoid um, too many spoilers on how to get that kind of stuff. It's fun with this game uh, really coming in blind. Um, and it's just like it's been fun uh, now in our grounded and raft playthroughs uh, that we've kind of got to the all new content um, for me as well. That we are we are now truly in all three playthroughs um, uh, in pure... Uh, exploration mode um, so that's been uh, it's been really cool um, so uh, we'll we'll get there we'll, we'll figure it out and um, we'll get to some serious base building here soon but it's it's really neat to see the uh, 
the whole great tree uh, moving um, kind of mechanic. Um, that'll be fun to play around with as well. So, um, I think that uh, this week for me might be a little bit less busy than I've been, so I might try to sneak out an extra small land video or something between my normal grounded and wrapped schedule. So, uh, no promises, but we'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, otherwise, if you guys did enjoy today's video, doing a little bit of uh, extra exploration and finally tracking down that flint, um, be sure to drop a like on the video. It definitely helps me out getting the videos discovered by more and more people so they can enjoy the series along with you. Um, otherwise, make sure that you guys are subscribed and turn those notifications on so that you can uh, be notified when the next episode drops. Um, otherwise, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon with some more Smalland. See ya!